Did you know that 71% of the people that watch Matthew Kelly's videos are not subscribers? That makes no sense. We need to change that. Subscribe today. Hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and turn on those notifications so you never miss out on another great video ever again. In our journey with God, uh, there are many different seasons. There are, there are some times in our lives when we're, we're hungry to pray, we're hungry to learn, we're hungry to be with God. There are other times in our lives when we're not. There are times in our lives where certain types of spirituality engage us, and there are other times in our lives where those very same things that brought us great enthusiasm and great passion uh, leave us dry and desolate. And so it's important to recognize the seasons in our spirituality. One of the great seasons in my spiritual journey was when my first child was born. Uh, when Walter was born, I, I had this amazing shift in my spirituality. You know, we talk a lot about the idea that God loves us, you know, and, and we hear this from when we're very little in, in certain contexts from certain people. And it's just sort of in the fabric of the life of the church. When my first son was born, I had this overwhelming experience, um, uh, realization. I had this, uh, just this sense that, okay, hold on a minute. Here's this little guy. I love him so much, uh, but I am weak and broken and floored with a bunch of failings. And if I can love this child this much, considering all my brokenness and all my imperfection, well then how much does God love us? And it was in this experience that sort of the infinite love of God really uh, knocked me over the head. And for, wow, two weeks maybe I would I would go to my prayer time you know and half the days I would just cry I would just be like wow and he gave me this grace in this season of my spirituality he gave me this grace of of just being immersed in his love which was was very very powerful and so as we talk about resting in God it's important that we understand this foundational truth that, that God does love us. And, and, and to get to that truth, think about, you know, who is the person or who are the people that you love more than anything else, okay? And think about how great your love is for that person or those people. And then think about, okay, how weak and how broken and how flawed and how imperfect you are. And think about the idea that, okay, if you can love this person or this people this much, how much greater is God's love for you? And then immerse yourself in that love. The question that I raise in the chapter about Walter in the book, about Walter, my son, and about Saint Walter, is, you know, have you ever allowed yourself to rest in God's love? You know, I think very often we live in a culture that's obsessed with action, with activity. We got to do something. And God is not calling us first to do anything. He's calling us first to be. He's calling us first to be with Him, just to be with Him. And then He's calling us to be who He created us to be. And then the doing of our life, the action of our life is a natural explosion that comes from being with God and being and becoming who He created us to be. But at the foundation, all of that is His love for us, and we have to be convinced of His love for us and be unwavering in that conviction that He loves us. You know, I say to my kids, I have this little time with my kids every night before they go to bed, and one of the things I say to them all the time I say to them, no matter what, no matter when, no matter where, Daddy always loves you. And then I talk to them about that. I talk to them about the idea that there's nothing you can do that's going to cause me to stop loving you. 
you know. So if something happens, you can come and talk to me about anything because that's really all I want with my kids. I, I want to be with them. I want them to be able to talk to me. You know, it says in the scriptures, the delight of God is to be with the sons of man. The delight of God is to be with his children. And it's our delight as a parent as well, you know. No matter what, no matter when, no matter where, Daddy always loves you. And, and where do we get that from? We get that from God. We get that from God. We can choose to walk away from God, but there's nothing we can do that will cause God to stop loving us. And what are the self-limiting beliefs? Very often, we believe that we've done something in our past, and so God doesn't love us anymore. God doesn't want to be with us anymore. God doesn't want to walk with us anymore. And, and, and that is not reality. That is not the truth. So don't let your past interfere with your future. God is always saying that to us in the scriptures. Don't let your past interfere with your future. Set your past aside and walk with God in the now, today. Open your heart to the new beginning, to the fresh start that he wants to gift to you.